Where did you put your shoes? She's bringing them. Somebody's bringing them for her. I have a spurt. Everyone, welcome to the mosque. Thank you. Good. Uh, first time, who's coming here for the very first time? Any mosque? So this is the main prayer area. This is the Islamic Foundation North. The reason it's called North is because we have a South. <laughs> All right? And the South one is in the Villa Park area. So as you can see in the mosque, we have the rows over here. Muslims, when we pray, so we pray five times a day. Well. Women, they pray upstairs. As you can see up there, the, the girl is there. Hey, wave your hand. <laughs> so, so, any questions about the prayer and what you see right now so far? Yes, ma'am. Do you have to do it or can you miss if you have to? Uh, uh, all the five daily prayers, these are compulsory, these are obligatory. Right? For every person, it's, a, it's an obligation. There's only one exception is, if a lady or a girl is going through her monthly cycle, then there's the only exception. Okay. There may be other some minute exceptions, but uh, by default, every Muslim is supposed to pray. If a person cannot like pray on the carpet, like that person is praying up there, they can sit on the chair and they can pray. Even if they cannot sit on the chair, they have to lay down on the bed and pray. Even if they are traveling, they have to pray. Take a break and pray. Even if they are work, they can take, you know, lunch time combined with the prayer time. Uh, yeah, question Joanne. When you pray, do they say some special words or just like when you're talking to? Sure. So, so the question the is... What's the of the prayer? Every day, five times... Is it every day same, or are all the prayers talking the same thing? Yeah, so she's saying that what do we say when we pray, right? What do we say when we pray? So the prayers are in the Arabic language. So some prayers are audible, some prayers are silent. So this prayer that you will see now, it's a silent prayer. The Imam, the scholar, he would be standing in the front, and he would be saying Allahu Akbar, means Allah is great, and folding his hands. And he would be silently reciting certain passages of the Quran. In all the prayers, we recite the very first chapter of the Quran, which is called as the opening chapter. Right after that, then we have a short passage, some other passages of the Quran. And then we bow down, as you may have seen, and then we prostrate. So we can head out to the shoe area and we can wear the shoes and uh, you can follow me and the brother uh, uh, Mansoor and we can go downstairs. All right, so let's head out to the shoe area. Yes. So what you see over here, these are all the wonderful ways that Islam has given rights to women. All right. So every poster has something unique about what Islam says about mothers, about wives, about daughters. <laughs>
so that is islamic concept of how to live a good life how to live life of intellectuals guidance from the quran transforming ourselves transforming the society being good to the neighbors right being good to our parents being the best to our children being the best towards our spouses so islam came as a blessing for humanity to transform a human to transform families and then yes to transform all of humanity and i'm going to end with a amazing passage of the quran so there is a passage in the quran joan this is in chapter 49 verse number 13 and this passage addressing to all of us god is saying that oh mankind oh humanity i have created you from one single male and one single female and made you into nations and peoples and tribes that you get to know each other not that you may hate and despite and discriminate each other god is saying that he made us different ways so we get to know each other and then god says that the best amongst you is the one who is a god fearing well mannered person so i hope and pray that all of us all of humanity as brothers and sisters by following god's guidance we can establish societies which are based upon morality based upon unity based upon humanity based upon brotherhood and sisterhood away from all the evils so we can live in justice harmony and peace and the best reward we will get would be eternal paradise by god's mercy so may god guide and bless each single one of you and all of us thank you very much Allah